social business. Now, mm -hmm. how is that different from being in the microcredit business? The way we created microcredit, the whole idea to Myanmar, of Myanmar to those promises. In this spirit, we welcome the fact that Minister Uhe Tut has agreed to take time from his busy schedule to let us know how the government expects to remain faithful to its commitments. Today, we launch a special report based on information gathered during that visit. We have the problem in the, to establish the credible complaint mechanism. We need the more work on the professional standard of the journalists, and we have to find the good business model for the private media. Uh, we will be asking our distinguished panelists from the world of journalism, is there a way for journalists to maintain accuracy uh, and be representative even in high intensity news situations? And can journalists be objective in reporting about faith when it comes to a crisis? And we will ask our esteemed <coughs> panelists from the world of spiritual leadership what they see as the role of religious leaders and communities. Uh, what is their role in challenging narratives that they believe stereotype members of their communities? And broadly speaking, how can religious leaders whose teachings may not be news still seek to make their voices heard? So I will um, ask our panelists to please present their opening remarks, beginning with Reverend Nuano. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Naomi. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you for giving me this opportunity together with such wonderful panelists. I am not an expert on media, but I would like to speak about the press coverage on religion in Japan. In Japan, religious people and organizations could not stop the Second World War. This very fact generated negative sense against religions among the Japanese public. During the period of reconstruction after the, the defeat, Obtaining everyday livelihood became the most important objective for all people. It may be said that people forgot the importance of spiritual growth and placed a high priority on the values of money and high economic growth. As the economy picked up and produced what people wanted, the press coverage on religions in post-war Japan continued to decline. There are, however, people who have doubts about the society based on such materialism and mammonism. In Japan, with the reduction of the influence of extended families and with the loss of power of religions, there were many young adults attracted to cult religions. Just 20 years ago, the sarin gas attack on the Tokyo subway system by Ohm Shinrikyo occurred in Japan. After the Ohm incidents, the Japanese public tends to view religions through the lens of this awful incident and with the stereotyped image of dubious religious groups which disorder family and social life. In the midst of such an environment, the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami occurred. Japanese journalists who have long been reporting on religion say, it's getting easier to cover good news or normal news on religion since the earthquake. Why? It is because Japanese religious people have remained at the side of the victims and have worked hard for the reconstruction for the affected areas. I think the way reporting on religion has changed in a more affirmative manner due to the fact that the society needed religion and religion actually provided people with what they needed. At present, various awful violent incidences are being caused by religious extremists and this is causing grave concern about religion. Today's breaking news on religions and violent extremism has become a critical issue in Japan, Japanese society too. A Japanese sumo wrestling master said to his disciple, be a sumo wrestler who becomes a news by defeating the match instead of winning the match. 
A true strong small wrestler becomes news when he <laughs> is defeated. This is a metaphor of a strong small wrestler. I may be too optimistic, but it is a sort of analogy that media only picks up the bad news on religion and does not report on the good news. I want to believe that the people in the media, media, feel, media field believes that religion is fundamentally good and virtuous. I am convinced that religion and media are not fundamentally in conflict, but are on the same side. Both want to contribute to the well-being and peace of humankind and the world by means of their respective methods. One of the Buddha's teaching, teachings is the ten realms of being formed in one another, Jukkai Gogu. This means that we humans have ten stages or situations in our heart and mind, and we go around them in each moment. We humans are not perfect nor always right. We are weak and often make mistakes. When humankind started walking as a bipe, we obtained the ability to see in parallax, and there followed the sense of here and there. However, there is no need for us to always see the world with divisions, such as good and wrong, we and them. Buddha teaches the Dharma of cause and effect. This teaching means all beings are interrelated and interdependent. I am being sustained by every non-myself around me. Good and wrong exist in ourselves. Nothing exists without a relation to us. I am a being composed of the people and things I have met so far and of everything I have not encountered yet. This is I. Considering the above, I can't see reality in a divisive way, such as I am good and they are bad. What made terrorists as terrorists is everything they have encountered and everything they have not encountered. Yes, I am being included here. I am one of the causes of their existence. If so, how I can move that relationship? This world has a potential of changing in any way. How this world could change depends on each of us. The fundamental violence may exist within ourselves. However, we also have virtues of being considerate for and su supporting others. If we can learn to, to approach wrongfulness by accepting the weakness of others as our own, if religious people and journalists could work together for the one common purpose, then the world may change. The wish of Kaisi lies in understanding others through dialogue and providing a platform for dialogue then that is open for all peoples. I would like to be of any help for the world, together with all of you. Although our existence is limited, the effect of our deeds will remain in this world. I would like to continue thinking about this point. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Reverend Nwana.